How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here. In today's video on our Chromebook, we're going to talk about how to turn on developer mode or basically in so many words, if you're used to the Android world, you know, we're going to unlock the bootloader. We're going to get per permission to do a lot more with our device. And uh, this is also grants us basically root access on the device, administrative privilege. So it's pretty cool. Uh, make sure you obviously back up everything on your device before you start this process. Um, make sure it's all backed up because this is going to factory reset the device, basically power wash it if you remember the earlier video in the lesson. So we're going to go ahead and hold our power button right here. So the best way to do it is just to make sure you're turned off is just go ahead and click right here, click shut down. All right, that goes ahead and shuts off the device. Now what you're going to do is you're going to come over here and you're going to hold this button right here, escape and the um, refresh button, um, or it could be F3 depending on your variant. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And then we're going to tap the power button and just keep holding these. And what you're going to see is you're going to see this boot screen right here. This is recovery. So in here, it's really simple. If you want to go ahead and unlock the bootloader or slash put yourself in developer mode, all you've got to do is hit control D. So we're going to go control D. And right here, you can see that it asks if you want to continue. Um, so to turn OS verification off, press enter, your system will reboot, local data will be cleared. So I'm gonna press enter, and that's gonna go ahead and do the process. So OS security is turned off, press space to re-enable. So from here, if you wanna just get the device to fully boot up, you're just gonna go ahead and hit control D one more time. And there you go, now we basically have done the process. You can see that up here, um, it says starting in 30 seconds. So basically what it's going to do at this point is it's going to do a wipe of your system. So again, I think I'm going to hit, let's see your system developer mode, local data is getting cleared, modifying system, blah, blah, blah. So try hitting control D one last time and let's see if it does anything. No, it's got to do the countdown because basically it's going to do that full wipe process. So we're just going to wait for this countdown to finish so they can finish turning on developer mode. So there you go. You can see it just flashed. And now we've got a countdown timer over here, and we have um, ETA over here. I think last time I did this, it took about 15 minutes, so we're going to let this run, and we'll come back to it once it finishes the task. All right, the process is officially wrapping up. Uh, it looks like it took us 9 minutes and 49 seconds for the developer mode to be turned on and to basically completely wipe the device clean. So it's just important that you're aware that this process is going to take some time. The one thing I probably note while this is booting is a couple things. One, you can always re-enable it right here on this screen by pushing the space bar. Um, you're going to have this screen on every time you boot the device from a completely powered off state. Not waked it up, but just reboot it. So um, if, if you're just waking it up, you won't have the screen, but otherwise you're going to have it. It's just like on Android, you have an unlocked bootloader screen warning. It's the same concept. And so what you have to do here is you have to hit Control D, and that will go ahead and boot the device up otherwise it really wants you to go ahead and hit spacebar and and basically turn off developer mode so i just want to let you know that's the process from here um you just go ahead and set the device back up just like you might want it it looks like you can enable debugging features which is kind of cool right there um so i'm going to go ahead and set mine up but that's the process guys if you want to know how to do this this is it i'm also going to include a link in the video description down below that's going to help you with any chromebook you want because they're the, the way you do de developer mode might be slightly tweaked by the button combinations and things like that. So check out that link and find your specific model and you'll find some really good directions as well. But just wanted to show you here how to do it on this Chromebook. So I hope this tutorial was helpful and uh, stay tuned for the next one. We're going to talk about um, root and uh, getting a shell and different things like that now that we have developer mode turned on. Hope you guys enjoy the video and we'll catch you then. Root Junkie out.